Hey guys, welcome back to the business of art. So a while back, uh, someone asked me about packaging vases for shipment because it's a little bit different than packing a painting, obviously. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how I do that. So just like with the painting, I always wrap it in parchment paper first. This ensures that nothing sticks to the paint there and um, pulls the paint off in shipment. Now, of course, I did seal this vase first, but um, yeah, so we're going to wrap it in parchment paper first. Always, always with any paintings, I do that no matter what the paint type is or how well I've sealed it. I just always do that. All right, now I have this foam stuff, which is used for packing um, dishes. It's thin, it's great. So I like to use this for my glass pieces. And once again, we're gonna just go ahead and I'm gonna roll it. There we go. And then on the top here, I'm gonna just tuck in all this excess and that will help also protect the inside. You can um, like pre-stuff it with uh, newspaper or anything else. I just do this though, it's really simple. And then we do have a little excess on the bottom here that can just kind of be folded up. And then we're gonna wrap it in bubble wrap. <laughs> this may be overkill, but I don't wanna have to worry about it, so. Wrap it in some bubble wrap. And I always, no matter what I'm wrapping out, I put the bubble side on the outside. And then we're just gonna add a little tape. You can use packing tape. I'm gonna just use this blue tape because it's what I have right here. And voila. We're basically ready to now put it into a box. And um, let me just grab a box, but I'm gonna be shipping this with a couple other things, but I'll show you generally the kind of box that I use. And just as a note on packing supplies, I hardly buy any packing supplies. I ask my friends and family to save everything from Amazon packages and any other packages that they get. Um, I get all the boxes from my daughter's school. For like every you know spring, they buy new tables and stuff like that. So I get all those boxes so I don't have to buy any. All of this uh, bubble wrap and packing material I got for free. So definitely ask your friends and family for their packing stuff. Now, like I said, I am putting this in with something else, but um, if I wasn't, if it was just shipping it by itself, I'd use a box like this. This is one I got from Art Resin. So we want it fairly snug in there. We don't want a bunch of extra room. So then you can either pack this extra here or you can cut down your box and just make it a little bit smaller and voila there you go so that's the vase and then i did want to show you real quick just because i also do need to ship this um, i'm going to ship this clock now here's my concern on the clock is these hands are very delicate so what i'm going to do is i have this foam piece which once again someone gave me and I'm gonna basically just cut this with some not so great scissors. Okay, and then I'm gonna just kind of cut out a hole in the middle here, very awkwardly. It'd be better if you use like a knife or something. Um, but basically I'm just gonna make a spot for the uh, clock mechanisms to go in so that they don't get damaged in shipping. So that was a pretty um, messy way of doing that, but that should work. And then you basically just gonna place it around there and that'll prevent them from getting bent and whatnot. So I'm gonna do that a little bit better and then we'll uh, package it up. Okay, I'm pretty satisfied with that. Um, and once again, I'm gonna put parchment paper on this. Obviously I gotta put the foam on there so I'm just gonna parchment paper the rest. And we do have this piece on the back, but I'm not worried about it being damaged because it's just a piece of plastic. I also did not fix up this bag of this clock, but that's okay. This is actually, I'm just sending it to someone for a photo. It's not, uh, someone didn't buy it or anything, otherwise I would have fixed up the back there. So then same thing, we're gonna wrap it in bubble wrap. 
Uh, since I do have some more of this foam stuff here, I'm going to just go ahead and use that. It's not a canvas, so it's less likely that a hole or something is going to get broken, get pushed through it, and it's not glass. Um, so I honestly don't have to worry about it nearly as much. Just wrapping it in this stuff would probably be totally fine. I'm going to just go ahead and fold it all over. And there we go. I mean, that's basically it. The important thing that I wanted to show you guys was the, the clock hands there. So I just recommend putting a little piece of foam, which once again comes in a lot of boxes as additional like padding and packaging. So go ahead and just put that on there to protect your clock hands or something similar. Wrap it up with your bubble wrap as usual, stick it in a box and you're ready to go. All right, guys, I hope this was helpful on packaging up some odd shaped or material wise items. Um, and uh, let me know if you have any questions down in the comments. I will see you guys later.